Like teenagers are just, uh. <laughs> And we are back with another Sunday, and not just any Sunday, it is a Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, shoot. It's a Super Bowl Sunday. I forgot about the Super Bowl. Between the Cincinnati Bengals and the LA Rams. Well, you forgot to say, uh, we're their favorite, favorite millennial left part of it, too. Bruh. What's up, Journey Gang? We are back again with another reaction video to Super Nanny. And if you can tell by the title, these kids out here getting disrespectful. Get your child in check. Matter of fact, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, get your child in check. Starting now. The next day when I arrived, Anthony Jr. Really said that he was going out against mum's wishes. Oh, wow. There's a reason why you're not going, you don't need and to go out. Okay. Right. I ain't gonna let him do what he's gonna do. Excuse me. Move. Excuse me? What's that? What? What was he doing? He was just saying move and I'm saying. Oh really? Oh wow. You see how she about to take off on that ass? She took name about to take off on that. Super nice. said, hey, hey, hey. What did he just say? Uh-uh. Move. Um. Either, okay, I don't know the whole context, but either she got a lot of kids and she keep, she don't have time to deal with his behind, but you would have never got out the door in my house telling me to move. Honestly, I would have moved you right through the door. <laughs> right through the door. You, you would have never got past it looked like, me. It looked, like, it looked like it's wintertime out there, so you would have been a Christmas ornament. <laughs> you would have been the snowman. Yeah, <laughs> telling me to move. Excuse me. Oh, really? Oh, really? Anthony? Anthony, here, please. Oh, really? So, are you going to do nothing? Because I'm going to do it. You're going to let your son talk to you? Yeah. Right that's how you are with Sasha. Oh, and that's all right, is it? No, it ain't all right. Get here right now, oh, please. Look at the, right look now. At the, look at the crumbly Anthony wave. Anthony Jr. is 12 <clears throat> years old and by no means a big man. So, it's important that we establish limits, authority, and nip this attitude straight in the bud. What you need to nip is that hair. <laughs> you need to nip it down, oh my all the way down. Oh my god! You can't, you can't be having busted, dusty waves, and you got a whole attitude. I don't. That's I not. You, deal with this. you look. <laughs> I can't deal with this man. You look, you look dusty. Your hair's oh uneven. Oh my god! <laughs> At twelve, talk about move. And I'm happy that Super Nanny called it out. Like, is yeah. he allowed to <clears throat> talk to you like that? That's acceptable. No, no adult, no, no adult should be letting a child speak to them and like she any said, kind of way. He ain't no man, and even if he was a man, he should shouldn't be talking to his mother like that. If he, he was pay. a man, it, it, it's not about even paying no bills in his house. Like as a child, you should not be, you should not feel okay. Like, hey, I'm gonna talk whatever if, however way I want to my parents because I think I can. They not gonna put their hand. Obviously, they're not. They don't. It's they don't no be, discipline, they're, they're clearly. No, they're no because discipline. if there's no fear, if there's literally no, if your kids can, if your kids feel this comfortable to tell you to move and literally proceed to kind of nudge you out the way, if they felt comfortable to do that, that means there's no discipline. Because, um, like I said, I think I would have been missing if I. And did I don't that. want to say it's the dad's fault, but the dad is just from what I see right now, he's just there, not saying that he's not in there. You lives. seen the dad? Yeah, the dad was in there. Oh, okay. Dad I was didn't in see there. No dad. I guess I'm, he, just I'm not saying like he's not. Of course, he's in a life. It's the he's discipline there, that was not established. The, there is no That's discipline what it was. at all. That was not it's established. Just... He could be in their lives, but when the discipline is not established, it's hard to real. And at this age, at 12, if they don't nip it now, true. Mm. Forget the teens. So it gets worse. Is that okay for him to talk to you like that? And he chewing gum like that. Like then then like you that. tell him, okay? Because as long as he talks to you like that with that attitude oh, and walks out the door, mm. then you're gonna have a problem today and tomorrow. Do not tolerate that attitude. All right? You do something about it and you tell yeah. him. Yeah. Um. First of all, one thing I want to say about the gum chewing—he look like he don't care what's going on. He anyway. don't. He don't. He like, oh, after she, after Super Nanny leave, I'm gonna go right back to doing yeah, what mom, I'm doing. Like you brought here for no reason. Cause that's like, what he was. Like, yep. That's she, exactly she, she, what he was. <laughs> I'm, she I'm rowdy. I'm routing as soon as she route. Like, girl, what you talking about? That's exactly how so he was looking. You know, you know, the way the super nanny's talking is unacceptable. Like, what you... Yeah. Oh, Mark. That's, that's what he was looking like. <laughs> Normally, I would, but it'll get... It'll eventually get physical. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to deal with it now. 
No, to huh? ignore it. Yeah. To ignore it means that you're not then going to address it, and okay. I'm here to help you. Okay. Okay, work through that. All right. Normally, Alice would just hit. Anthony Jr. when his behavior became out of hand. And that's another thing too because you okay, look like she's running a daycare. So she's already probably mentally drained from dealing with other people's kids that by the time she get to her kids, it's like hence what is the and keep what, it moving. what is the husband slash father doing? That is where yeah. he needs to step in and Daddy be like, yoga. And his name is Anthony Jr. Yeah. He is named after you, sir. After you, mm -hmm. so you need to be like yo, son. Who are you talking to like this? Mother's tired, and you don't need to punch him in his chest. Do all that. Be like, all right, dog. Like you want to go outside? Then let. Come on, you got to walk through me mm -hmm. to get outside. And he's not going anywhere. He's not getting outside. You don't have to, you know, spank him or beat him up like that. No, you're not going to talk to your mom that way. Matter of fact, get up in your room. But that's so what why, you want to do, right? Exactly, and that's why respect has to be established at a young age. Let's bring it. Let's reel that in quick. But this was a great opportunity for me to show Alice mm -hmm. exactly how to take a different there approach. There you go, Super Nanny. Anthony, you need to go to your room. Ten minutes. Ten you minutes. Think about that. He's not even listening. He's not even looking at you. He's not getting your eye. What eye contact. What change this, Anthony? All the things that we don't like, the hitting, the swearing. I wanted to stop, but you definitely have to work with me too. I'm glad Joe showed me another way of doing. At this, I don't. I don't feel no conviction in that voice. No, I don't. But like, well, Anthony is like, yeah. But like my wife said, she. Mm -hmm. I feel like she is though also defeated. Yes. From dealing with Mother the daycare. Mother is tired. Like and I she's said. like, yo, I really don't have no energy for you. That's why it's automatic pop. Mm -hmm. it's because automatic. I don't have time to keep talking. I don't. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. You're not listening. And I'm going to. Because she's dealing with so many it. little personalities each and every day. That's what I'm saying. She's day. dealing with other people's children. So by the time she gets to An 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 Anthony Jr., she ain't got nothing ain't left for the boy. Ain't nothing left for him. And she ain't got nothing left for the boy. And he know it. That's why he can still act the way he act. And that's why he wasn't even really paying attention. I understand Super Nanny is trying to implement techniques, but this boy is 12. Yeah. And he's rooted and grounded in how he feels. Oh, he, he has planted his two feet down Ten in toes disrespect. Down. Ten toes he's down. He's not on disrespect. moving. He's like, hey, <laughs> I mean, what? Hmm? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he hit one of those too a couple of times. <laughs> oh yeah, that wasn't caught on camera. With little Anthony, I would have spanked him, but spanked. She's still I'm definitely sticking with the way spanked. the things that Joe showed us. You have ten minutes <laughs> to go upstairs to your room. Yo, look and at them think knuckles. about it, and then you can come right. back downstairs and apologize to me. I was impressed with Mum's restraint. And He's how she's a high roll However, Anthony Jr., you know, I still need to work on him. Yo, 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 Anthony Jr. was like, dog, I am not about to sit here mm -hmm. and hear what you got to mm -hmm. say about <laughs> me. And they coming back and apologizing? Mm -mm. Move. <laughs> His face said it all. Said it all, man. And say, I, she didn't say that with enough conviction. Like I said, there was no conviction in her she, voice. The, no I needed more. Like I Put said, my foot down. I saw the dad there, and like we said, we don't have the whole context of the video. Right. But I saw the father there, and I feel like Joe needed his Joe. I hope that she talked to the dad as well. I'm, I'm like, pretty hey, sure dad had to come in at you, some point. Yeah. You need to show your son how to respect a woman. Because if he disrespects his mother like that, he's going to disrespect every That's other another thing. woman he comes in contact with. Yeah. Not all the time. But in certain cases, this does show how he will treat his woman. Boundaries create respect for both you as a parent mm -hmm. and you respecting your child and the child respecting you. It's your. It's based on your kid. Mm -hmm. Base your discipline on your kid. The way I discipline my oldest is not the same way I discipline my youngest because no. they have two separate personalities. Congrats to Snoop Doggy Dog, who is now okay. the proud owner of Death Row Records. He has bought Death Row Records. Another black history fact is a woman named Marie Van Britten Brown. Now, this woman is a is a wonderful woman. I felt uneasy in her neighborhood because the police was always lacking. They wasn't really doing nothing. And she was like, yo, I, I can't, I, I'm not, I don't feel safe. So she took matters into her own hands and she uh, patented a, a modern home security system. Uh, over 50 years later, we're still using that technology today. Shout out to Marie 
Braden Van Brown. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for tuning in to Journey with the Lewis family. And it always goes. And the journey continues up.